Yo guys, what up? This is Big Unit Cycling, back with another video. And we're gonna continue the upgrade your entry level or medium bike into a world tour super bike. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of stems on the table. Yeah, I got a real stem problem. So this was the stem that was on the bike. It's the Zip SL Speed. I'm, I'm taking the SL stands for super light in the cycling in the world of cycling and yeah the stem is made of carbon it's dumb light it's super stiff <laughs> for how light it is however the stem only goes up to 120 millimeters and it's running the tad bit too short for me I, I feel kind of short on the bike with this stem I wish I never had to use another stem. This stem looks, the, the silhouette of this stem looks perfect on my bicycle. I like how broad it is and yeah, how light it is and how stiff it is for, 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 for being such a light stem. Just really, really good job of engineering here. But like I said, whenever I get elbows down 90 degrees and I'm trying to get low on the bike. I feel cramped. Uh, and I feel like, yo, I need to stretch out a bit more when I'm in that position. Riding on the hoods is okay with 120 millimeter, but as soon as I, I, I bent my um, my elbows at 90 degrees, it, it's, it's, it becomes a bit hard to hold that position. So, <clears throat> I've decided to take the stem off the CAD 12 which is the Zip Service Course SL Super Light and this is made of um, aluminum yeah and this is 140 millimeters long and however th this feels a this feels I say just right on the CAD 12 it could be a tad bit longer but it, it it is perfect in all positions when 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 you bend your elbows at 90 degrees right on the hood in the arrow position or when you're in the drops on the CAD 12 this feels good and I've just put it on the CAD 13 on the trainer and just to test it out and it also feels good you know I, I've written this on the CAD 13 but it doesn't look good on the CAD 13 in my opinion because of a, a slim profile it, it just doesn't match the silhouette of the CAD 13 because the, the CAD 13 has this um, Napa profile to the frame however I like the I, I like this part <laughs> what was this called the computer holder for, for it and it's, it's just integrated into the stem and it looks good with the handlebar as well it gives it a nice clean look and yeah, it's also a stiff stem. I could have just stuck with this and, and call it a day. You know what I mean? Or I could have just bought this in 130 millimeter. But I chose this instead. And this is a Zip SL Sprint. And let's unbox it. That's nice. Ah, it's nice and clean. Wow, that thing is fugly, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is mad ugly right here. Wow. So this is 130 millimeters. This is, this is uh, um eight degrees plus minus, and this is going to give me a better angle than the um. Minus six degrees because I, I was looking at pictures of myself and I, I've, I've been riding in the mirror on the trainer and I can see I'm um, too upright. So this hopefully will give me a a better aerodynamic angle on on the bicycle. Yeah, and to go with this, I also picked up the computer mount to go with this as well. Let's get that open. And there you go. 
All right. Don't worry, I'm a gentleman today. We got the scissors on deck. Ah. Wow. <coughs> yeah, that's gonna go on like that. Mm. I wonder if you could reverse this. It just says 12 degrees on here, so I don't think I've, I've I think I've saw someone reverse this before. And yeah, you shouldn't be able to reverse this. In case you want to do some endurance rides. You could you could flip it and reverse it, but that's the computer mount. And yeah, how about you know I'm not gonna forget my weight wieners out there. For my weight wieners, we got the scale of truth. Cause they y'all wanna know how much does it weigh? Well, I tell like I said, man. 120 millimeter zip SL speed. Scale is on zero. And that weighs in 133 grams. That is stupid light for a stem. And let's try this one with the computer mount. And that's 230 grams. That is also light. You know, because you, you get this computer mount where you can put a, a light or a GoPro underneath and it, it holds the computer really, really well. Alright, let's see the damage done on this. Oh, that's pretty good. 188, 188 grams for 130mm stem. That's pretty good. I like that. Wow, that's like 100 grams, bro. That can't be right. That can't be right. Let's try it again. 98 grams. Oh lord, I must have been doing something wrong. Yeah, that's 98 grams. So, yeah, that's all that came in the package. Normally, they usually give you a bolt on here to, to do the, the, the screws and stuff. Where's my bolt, man? So you got the paperwork. Oh, you got the stem cap as well. That's nice. I might try that. Oh, yeah. Stem cap bolt. You got a little bolt in there. You know, zip always be throwing in the goodies, man. So, yeah. I'm just going to do this up real quick. And I'll put it in the end of the video. What this weighs with this. And like I said, this weighs 188 grams. Which is dumb light. And this is 99 grams. So this is Big Unit Cycling. Hope you guys enjoy this. This is going to be the stem on the bike for racing. This is going to get me in a more aerodynamic position.